All right, what's going on you guys? Nick here with Nick's Strength and Pokemon. Today I want to talk about the secondary market in MetaZoo because right now it's taking quite the thrashing as if it hasn't been already for several months, um, if not the past year. Right now, if you guys go to cardshoplive.com, it seems like they must have some kind of falling out with MetaZoo. I guess there was some issues with them in the past, but whatever it is, I think they're done with MetaZoo now because they are slashing and burning MetaZoo prices like I have never seen before. So one good example of this is the MetaZoo first edition Cryptid Nation release event box, which is on the Card Shop Live website right now for $19.99. Just one year ago, this was $100 a box. Now, obviously, the market has come down significantly in general since then, but that's an 80% drop for what Card Shop Live is selling it for. When I did a little bit of research on eBay, they're kind of going for like $35 to $50 prior to this so maybe maybe a 50 percent slash from what the average sale was on ebay already for a first edition uh release event box but for that price i ended up buying about 50 of these and i was buying 400 worth at a time because that's 20 booster boxes or 20 uh 20 release event boxes and at 399 400 that's about the average price of a regular cryptid nation first edition booster box right now you can get one for about 399 but each release event box has three packs. So 20 of those for $3.99 is 60 packs. So almost two booster boxes for the price of one. And then those uh, promo cards, which are going for, I would imagine, on average, more than $20. Like the Gassian Ditha and the Dung Van Dung Hoover, or whatever those promos are. There's some valuable promos in there that if you grade them and get a 10, they're like $200 cards. So there's some really interesting... Uh, really interesting value I think in buying those release event things that's why I bought 50 of them but my question is how is this going to further impact the secondary market because as you can see it hasn't been doing great regardless of this but there's other stuff on there too like a nightfall box for 86 bucks which is by far the lowest on the internet wilderness spell books where there's a lot of good hits because they kind of fixed the spell books for that round ten dollars nine ninety nine for a wilderness spell book ten packs in a spell book that's a dollar a pack. You're not going to get much cheaper MetaZoo packs than that. I think they had some other stuff on there. Um, I'm trying to think. They had a second edition release event box for $4.99. They had first edition blister packs for $19.99. All kinds of stuff on there. Booster boxes of Wilderness, $39.99. Second edition booster boxes, $39.99. So by far, the cheapest prices on the market. They are clearly trying to dump any MetaZoo they have. I think their first edition boxes were $3.99. So not a crazy deal on those. I had picked up a couple of first edition boxes on TCG Player recently for three fifty. I don't know, man. This is kind of a kind of an interesting development in the MetaZoo secondary market. I've seen a lot of people complaining already in the Facebook groups. A lot of people complaining already on some of the YouTube videos that I've been watching. People are not happy. Well, obviously, you know, MetaZoo can't do much to control the direction of the economy. They can't do much to control the direction of the secondary market, even though it's kind of crashing and burning right now. And I'm seeing a lot of people complaining, selling off their collections. But I think right now is a great time to buy. I still believe that in the long run, MetaZoo is going to be around in the future. I think 10, 20 years from now, MetaZoo will still be a brand. I think MetaZoo will still have a good customer base 10, 20 years from now. I really believe that it's still going to be around, and I believe it's a good investment. And that's why I'm continuing to buy at these low prices. I think right now, $20 for three packs of Cryptid Nation in a release event box with a promo card is an unbeatable deal. Wilderness. Even for just the urge to scratch the itch of, of Wilderness with the uh, lottery aspect of the gold, silver, and bronze tickets, the green man serialized card, if you just want to scratch that itch for a dollar a pack from the spell books, that's a great, you know, fun little gamble, a fun little opening for $10 to have a whole spell book to open, I think is really almost unbeatable. Or if you want to chase a Mothman in second edition, even though it's not super valuable, $39.99 to open 36 packs. And you got a chance at a blue ink. I mean, these are really, if you want to have fun opening cards, these are kind of unbeatable prices. And from an investment standpoint, if you believe in MetaZoo at all, this is really a great time to buy. This is significantly below MSRP all across the board. Um, but how badly will it impact the secondary market? How many people is it going to push out of the hobby? Because now with these prices is really undercutting a lot of people's sealed collections that you know they thought were going to appreciate that are probably totally tanking right now so let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below 
And what, if any, knowledge do you have on the catalyst for this? What exactly happened between Card Shop Live and MetaZoo? What is what is going wrong between the two? I haven't followed that closely as far as what could have caused this, but I know there's been some issues with Card Shop Live in the past. Um, but this is obviously a dumping of all things MetaZoo. Because if you look, go to their site right now, it doesn't matter what set, what product, pretty much everything across the board, they've got their prices slashed to be the cheapest on the internet. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. What does this mean for the future of MetaZoo? What happened between the two? And like and subscribe for more MetaZoo videos because now I've got a bunch of stuff to open. I think I bought um, a handful of Wilderness boxes, a handful of uh, Nightfall boxes, a handful of Second Edition. I bought the 50 release event boxes. I th oh, and I bought 30 of the spell books, 30 Wilderness spell books. I really want to scratch the itch of trying to get one of those lottery cards. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below and like and subscribe for more videos like this one. Nick Strength and Pokemon signing out.